hole. Mission select. It's probably going to be a shorter one. Just a short little. A final hurrah, if you will. Because <clears throat> it's late. It's a late start. I admit it. I'm talking, I gotta post the picture of what I'm talking about when I say this looks like a tool album art. Like just Google like tool, like fear inoculum or something. Oh yeah. I project. Oh, I guess it's already projecting. Look at that. I can project wherever I want. I was hitting the wrong button to dash. I was pressing R1. Because there's probably some games where you press R1 to dash. Probably. Not me. Did you know that some enemies can camouflage themselves? Listen for them to determine their location. It's a barbecue grill? Or is it like a, like a propane powered typewriter? What the heck is this? Something. That's what goofed me up last time, these uh, floating exploding guys getting up on me. I'm gonna get up on me. All by myself. Oh 
gosh, there's more of them. Thought I was safe. Oh jeez, that was a body. So that does good damage. percent when I have it's 33 percent these devs really looked at the mess made in John Woo movies and said hmm we can do more oh I was able to dash all the way just in time um I guess so lots of practical effects So I'm trying out a new control scheme. I, w I read something that said to try turning off the stickiness, which helped uh, some people. And I think it's, I think it does help. I also turned off the, there was like an aim assist on, which I could actually like once in a while, it felt like it was, it would, it would stick to the uh, enemies sometimes, but it, it was, Seems like a good thing, but it went like sometimes it would do it, sometimes it wouldn't, which made aiming awkward because it was kind of inconsistent with what would how it would work when you were aiming. Um, so I turned both of those off. And it does seem it's a bit more consistent, if anything. Uh, something that I couldn't quite get my. I kind of put my finger on another, uh, like one of the aspects of it that felt weird, and then I read someone say that it has the aiming has this like acceleration to it. I'm like, oh yeah, it does. So like it starts off, it has to like build up speed, which is like weird. I don't know how many like games do that. Maybe more games do that than I realize, but it very. It, it makes it the aiming feel sluggish, but I do. I, I I'm thinking that uh, turning off the uh, stickiness might at least help with the consistency. Yeah, I feel like I. Yeah, like I still wish it didn't do the acceleration thing, but I don't think that's an option. But it, but uh, let's see. There's probably some games where the acceleration is very minor, so it, it's not as apparent, but this is definitely one where it, it's just, it seems like it's pretty heavily used. It's usually a feature for controller input since they're not direct input there. methods the way a mouse is. Yeah, because a mouse, in a, in a sense, is almost like an analog type. Sounds like there's a man down. So weird though. It's like if I wanted to go faster or slower, I can do that myself. If I pressing all the way, it should just go one path. Whatever. It's fine. Like a dog running into glass because it plays its cram procedures. Oh, cram. It's, it's, it, that's a British term for a stroller, right? Smoking pram. Containment cell must be properly ventilated. In inhalation of the item smoke causes blank. 
Description altered effect. Item is a baby carriage with the black shade and steer while wire wheels. Left front wheel is slightly bent, causing it to sink wobble when pushed. Item produces smoke incessantly. Smoke density varies. Smoke is generated without apparent fire ignition source. Back an incident in Paris in 1979 brought the pram to attention of the Bureau. Smoke filled an antique store where the pram was being sold, killing the shop's owner. Oh. Update. Detailed records of events leading to the item's discovery were destroyed in an incident in the Panopticon. Interviews with living witnesses were re-performed at the order of the archives and records. I see. A preambulator. Oh, the Panopticon, that's where we're actually headed right now. But... Central containment. Central containment. Okay, we came in from here, so... Well, hang on, let me look at the signs. Ah, the Panopticon is this way. Pretty sure I already... Some mobility points to spend it. Launch large enemies when your health is low. Or I can get more health or more energy. Um... How do I feel about brutalism? Oh, like the the architecture. Uh, it's pretty oppressive. I almost want more energy. Actually, I think I'm gonna go for that. Oh, hang on. Let me see if I can upgrade my... Struct charge. Yes, I can upgrade my grip. That's what I've been waiting for. Okay, before I consider constructing anything new, I'm going to upgrade my grip. Now my gun's going to be stronger. And I think it has, oh, it looks like it has an, another slot now. Um, okay, I can't construct the charge. Three explosive projectiles. Gee, so that's like a grenade launcher. Then there's a spin. Generous magazine, high rate of fire. So that's like a, like an automatic. Looks like a freaking revolver. Shatter. Oh, that's the shotgun, which I have. I need a lot to upgrade that. And then the sniper. Charges more of a rocket launcher. Three expl. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Because it's a projectile. Um. So do I want an automatic or do I want a sniper rifle? Sniper is definitely more of my style. Maybe with. The changes I made to the controls, I might be able to aim a little better. I think I'll try this. And we're not too far off from getting the spin as well. I just need more of those triangles for the things you kind of get constantly. I have another spot for this. Um. 21% energy gained from headshots. 24% energy gained from headshots. So we could sell this one. Um, okay. Ammo 
more cars per damage against armor. Huh, am I gonna be shooting an enemy armor with my regular gun? I guess that might be useful. 63% is quite a boost. Oh, you can only equip two forms at a time. Oh, I didn't know that. That's kind of rough. That's like if you could only have two guns at a time in Resident Evil 4. I, I assume you'd be like swapping at typewriters. Uh, I guess I'll have to, I mean, I can't imagine getting rid of my grip ever. So I guess I'll have to swap out the shotgun. Um, I'm gonna try the energy gain from headshots because that seems like it could be very useful if my aim is true. And I already have headshot damage, so that kind of synergizes anyways. Do I have a better headshot damage though? Oh, it doesn't look like I have any of them. Alright, so the shatter is the one that I'm going to replace. Do I have any damage against armor? Damage while aiming, just in general, while you're aiming, you do damage. 22%, so this is just a better version of Zoom, 12%. Okay, interesting. Damage after kills? Consecutive uh, kill boost. I think I want to get the damage while aiming. 25% damage boost while aiming. Uh, whoops. I wanted to check this one. Oh, this one's 33%. So this one isn't as good. I mean, I could have both equipped, but I think I prefer having my my big health boost, wherever the, that. There it is. Oh, I have a 43 health boost? Uh... If I do, it's mysteriously vanished. Oh, oh, it's only two shots. It doesn't zoom in any more than the regular one, so it's interesting that the effect... you think there would be a little bit of natural extra zoom. But I guess you have to apply the mod to get any of that. That's... Oh, you have to hold it. Hmm. I don't know about that one. You have to really make sure you're gonna you're gonna get your shot. Not always very easy to do that. So far, not so good with that, about that sniper rifle I just bought. The sniper rifle, which doesn't zoom in. <laughs> and, and has a charge, which I didn't realize. Man, it has a charge, but there's only two shots. It's so restrictive. 
He doesn't zoom in. There's only two shots. And it has a charge. That's actually, like, a lot of drawbacks. Like, that better do a crap ton of damage. Now I'll know this time to charge ahead of time. I mean, it did kill him. But... And also... I think I hit like the weak one though, so I don't really know how strong it is still. Oh, I didn't even see this guy. I need like grenades or something, but you know what? That's one of the guns that I don't have unlocked yet. Uh, I could check. I didn't see anything that said to press R3, but I could really try it. Oh yeah, I could I can throw enemy grenades back, that's true, but I can I never freaking tell when there's grenades being thrown because everything's just smoke everywhere. Alright, at least we survived that. Maybe it's a good thing that this might be the last stream of this because it, it, it sure is making the PS4 work extra hard. Not used to hearing it loudly. Oh, this is even better. Better version of what I had Wow, it's a level four. What is the rarity of, on that? Prime? Although that suggests that you can shoot that without aiming. Huh. Oh, wow. Okay, so hang on. I need to figure out what that means. So does it fire automatically after a while? Let me see. No. Yes, it does. Okay. You can only hold it for so long. Another restriction, actually. It's like there's purple behind that door anyways. Oh, it adds a highlight now to the grenades. Good. Yeah, I think you can cancel the charge by switching. It automatically fires the next weapon once, though. Which seems like... Maybe that wasn't a planned thing. Because normally you don't even fire... Wait. What am I thinking of? There's something that only happens when you release the button. Oh, okay, that's interesting too. You don't switch guns until you release the button to switch guns. But you also can't hold the button down to switch guns because then it doesn't do anything if you hold it down too long. That's like kind of an odd decision, I feel like. There's a lot of weird little things like that. So that, I wonder if that was intentional or like something they forgot to like, cause I feel like it should just switch as soon as you press the button down. So there's that, but everything else, it's, it goes, uh, it goes when you press the button down rather than when you release. Darn, I don't have level six. We did, I was just thinking about, like, <clears throat> the uh, various goal decisions in this game. I like grab nothing. Kind of funny, because the name of the game is Control. 
the funk. Whoops. Okay, that's definitely not good for just a bunch of regular enemies because there's only two shots in it. Might be good for better for big enemies and bosses. Where did you come from? Okay, I didn't know there was people in there. Okay, well. Doesn't go well for me. Please don't shoot. Pass it. Picked up the one who wasn't dead yet. <laughs> I didn't know. A remote spot. Some of the names of the items or the things in this game give me Psychonauts vibes. Which is funny because the health pickups also gave me Psychonauts vibes. Can you dash twice in the air? You can. You fall a little, but you can actually... Wow, look at that. I didn't even think you could do that, honestly. I never thought to try that. After looking at them in action, if I want to try another one, try the spin. If not, stick to grip and shatter. Yeah, it just doesn't seem like... Hopefully, like, each gun kind of uses its own material for the most part, so that way you're not... I didn't waste a whole bunch. Making the sniper, but... Recovery speed being 41% faster is actually really good. I might might swap these. They're doing them fireworks again. You know what? 20% ah. Investigating a suspected altered world event case in the New York City subway tunnels. 
The agents found their way. So where were the headquarters the before they found the oldest house? Once we became aware of it, it was there. For the rest of the population, it was hiding in plain sight. A, a slippery blind spot, seemingly discouraging observation. It's a, a place of power. An ongoing AWE of its own. Seemingly adhering to its physical outer constraints, and yet constantly breaking the known boundaries of reality. It's unstable. Shifting. Note, for more details on control points and the research and process to stabilize and secure the core sectors, refer to a separate presentation. After extensive research and investigation, the Bureau made the building its headquarters on November 13th, 1968. The Federal Bureau of Control was never out Hello. of the open. This, this was always an obfuscated Classified She's top like secret operation. up and down because of the idle enemies. So imagine our surprise when the building's observation resistant aspects began in some unquantifiable way to affect the Bureau as a whole. So this guy's basically like the uh... He's the uh... Ah, what's his name? Remember his name? Who's the? What's the name of the guy that the J.K. Simmons plays in uh, Portal Two? Dave Johnson. Is that his name? Like like Dave Johnson. Like they don't act the same, but they so serve a similar purpose. Mr. Scratch was from uh, Alan Wake, right? I was trying to... Uh, say something about her comment. August 4th, 1964. <laughs> It's resistance to being observed got applied to the Bureau. Oh yeah, because it's like people don't notice it. No unique procedures required, however, contacts will be limited as some report feeling disoriented after touching it. The wolf globe. Item is handmade, set in dark wood. The item itself is lacquered, hand painted, spins freely on all axes. While the contents and oceans are recognizably those of Earth, careful examination has revealed numerous blanks and other geographic additions that do not exist on our planet. One of these islands has a city marked on it named Tan Relio. There are no signatures left by its physical contact renders subjects dizzy and disoriented with some reporting a feeling of unfamiliarity with their surroundings. Its effect seems to grow worse with pro prolonged contact, culminating in a sense of listlessness and depression. Suicide has been observed in blank handlers. Papticons up here somewhere. P6 is what the Bureau calls Dylan. His cell's been breached. Uh oh. Has the Hiss found him? Are you there with him? Can you protect him? Uh oh, the PS4 is getting louder. Oh, it's one of these situations. Oh! 
That was unchilled. Let me read this sign just in case. The law of three applies. Okay, so it's... Did not fall, everything's upside down. <laughs> uh, yeah, everything's fine. Don't mind any noises. And it's also partially upside down. partially upside down. I think there was just a weird lamp. I never know. Now the other room should be... Oh. Alright, that was a always the same door. You'd think you'd be going through one of the other symbols. since Dylan and I knew each other. I wondered about him. What kind of man he'd grow up to be. Were things as hard for him as they were for me? Maybe in here. They were even harder. Oh, because I'm always going back to the uh, oldest house rather than anywhere else. I see. So those are like different connecting points. But... Skeleton. Selbridge is popping up all over the place. Is What's there? going on with the items? Oh, hello. Is there something I can help you with? I'm Jesse, the new director. I need to get inside. New director? Right. Uh, well, okay. Hello, I'm Frederick Langston, the Panopticon supervisor. It's not the best time for a tour. We have hiss everywhere, numerous cell breaches, and system failures across the board, but you're the director, so here we go. You're the sheriff. Founded by Zachariah Trench, the Panopticon is our state-of-the-art repository for all altered I items. I don't have time for this. Power and I was told Dylan Faden was kept here. Can you help me find him? I mean P6. Faden? Uh, sure. Darling wanted him somewhere secure and isolated away from people. He's in the maximum security cells, upper level. But there's currently a, uh, a pressing matter, ma'am. We've got an object of power loose in there, and it's wrecking the place. The Benikoff TV, it's, uh, it's a real doozy. Salvador took a team in to handle it, but no one's heard from them for hours. This is a Category 5 OOP we're talking about, and if we don't contain it soon, it will tear the Panopticon apart. And we don't Not want a Category those five. items getting loose, ma'am. No, trust me. Dylan's in there. Open the door, Langston. I'll handle it. If you say so. Uh, I usually tell first-timers not to touch anything, so uh, just do that. <laughs> Here, I'll get the door for you. And please, ma'am, call me Fred. Thanks, Langston. <laughs> Okay, she's a hypocrite because she was so mad about that lady not calling her by her first name. And then he said, oh, you could just call me by my first name. And then she called him by the last name. She's a hypocrite. 
That's the third lowest category. Oh, really? Wait, third lowest? How is a class 5 a third lowest? Oh, so... so many for them, the lower the number, the more dangerous? I guess life's a breach, huh? <laughs> Over overpowered. <laughs> Panopticon. Dylan is close. But that object of power might wreck this place before I find him. It just made me think of an X-Men. A class 5 mutant was like the highest class. Pretty much like Magneto was like a class 5 mutant. And then technically it could get crazier than that if you talk about like Dark Phoenix or whatever. Uh-oh. What have I become? I have become one. Yeah, I, I said the same thing, Christmas Elf. Im impact font. It looks just like impact. Was there a, a checkpoint I should have touched? Ow. Oh my goodness, did you see like the little animation I did there? I was like sliding back. So you're saying it's an extra thick impact plant. That's what I'm getting out of it. Yeah, I already, honestly, I want to uh, switch back to my shotgun. Sixteen percent projectile spread. Oh, I have a nineteen percent. That one. It's ITC Avant Guard Bold. I was going to say, if it's thicker, it's probably bold. Now they're giving me all these mods for that sniper rifle gun I'm probably not going to use. I don't know, maybe it'll be good for, like, a certain boss or something. Once I'm able to equip two mods to the shatter, a spread decreasing mod plus pellet can increasing mod. Oh. I think I have those as well. Just like a looks like an Easter basket. 
I'm pretty sure that's an Easter basket. What was the other one? Mailbox? A fan. <laughs> Kind of like a toy hammer. That was a picnic basket. Uh, yeah. I mean, an Easter egg basket's pretty much just a picnic basket, isn't it? I'm headed to the fourth floor for AI containment. The P6 cell's on the fifth floor, but I guess he seems to have escaped. Bureau's plan to make Dylan the next director. Marshall made it sound like it was all Dylan's fault, but how much they wanted a, the a kid to be the next director? I don't think she's telling me everything. Well, I became the next director pretty easily. I don't know what happened with Dylan. I don't even want to become the next director, and I became the next director. It just sort of happened. I don't know. <laughs> Balls floating around, thinking like they own the place. Sure, like they were like grooming him to be the new director, but it's funny because apparently she became the director instantly as an adult. Like it seems like they didn't have to actually go through all that trouble with him. Hello? Is, it, is anyone there? Fridge. I do. Hmm. Oh, if I could do anything for you, buddy. Let's see. What are you doing in there? Oh, thank God! Look, someone has to watch this object at all times, or it deviates. My ship replacement never showed up. Can you help me? Damn. Uh. I can't. I'm sorry. There's an emergency. I'll come back, I promise. Okay, okay, just don't forget. I can't stare at this thing much longer. Watch me come back and the room's just covered in blood. Three checkpoints like back to back suddenly. It remains to be seen how good of a director Jesse will be. Well, she's already, look at what she, she's already done a lot. Look at all these checkpoints. We still have a ways to go before we can upgrade the shatter. We can already almost upgrade the pierce, but we don't want to. Okay, so you can't hit them if you like throw a second one like soon after. Oh, that's my friend. Honestly, I was just thinking that the flying guys were just straight up immune to telekinesis. Uh, what is that? I thought that was gonna be some weird rectangular explosive. Oh. Drop the bodies of your fallen comrades. But I'm, okay, I thought that was like another checkpoint. What's going on? Just... I think she'll be a great director. Forever and ever. 
That's the object of power. I need to cleanse it. The little TV set? The little rabbit ear with no rabbit ears? It's funny, I was reading about multiple objects of power. I didn't read about the TV. I must have missed the document. Why this looks so choppy on YouTube? Sorry about that. I just noticed. I can't edit. It's not running that choppy. Oh, Benikoff TV. Okay. I think, like, once again, when I see a word I don't recognize, my brain kind of shuts off. And I think uh, I saw Benikoff. So I didn't even register the TV part. Yeah, Fred. It's the twisted hallway from Ocarina of Time. In the forest temple. Oh, they're invincible? Uh, I see a doctor by getting that part of my brain removed. Would make traveling to a foreign nation very difficult. Oh, it is. In some ways. the trigger first I want to try to they don't want me to exist up here and also fight them at the same time Okay. Salvador. Ow. Oh boy. I need that help. Real bad. Oh, that's not for me. No, what the? I must have ran out of energy because I was trying to like dash at that point. Darn it. <sighs> was Salvador someone we read about before? If so, remind me who that is again. It seemed like the other bosses have been people. From documents. Is it just Dr. Salvador from Resident Evil 4? It's just the chainsaw guy? Ah, man. I was going this way, right? They're gonna make me do that encounter all over again, aren't they? Wait, was the fridge guy gone? Oh. Oh look, they're not making me do it again.
They really just ought to place a checkpoint right at the entrance of an object of power area. Just for the convenience factor. Like just a temporary checkpoint. Twilight zone ass hallway. I want an east egg. Okay. He existed, but he didn't exist yet. Okay, just grab all that health. There's so much health. I just need to get to it. Ow. I'm so... Oh, I can't see because everything's red. Red. Let's get the health! Oh my god. There's already like so many red things happening and then when you're dying it goes more red. In the lore of the universe, you're not doing things over again. Jesse's respawning like a cannon defense. Why though? Like, why does that matter? I definitely have seen parts where I've fallen off a cliff or something in a zone and then I respawn there. But it doesn't seem to happen most of the time. I mean, that just makes me think of like Dark Souls, right? Because every time you die in Dark Souls, you're actually dying in Dark Souls. You have to like go pick up the stuff you dropped or whatever. Except in this one, you lose 10% rather than everything. I guess the drawback is that you can't pick it back up. Oh, come on, you still didn't exist? So not only do you have to wait for him to drop, you have to then wait for him to do a little animation after he's dropped already, and then you can start hurting him. Why am I already dying? Kicked me. Oh, everything's coming from. Oh, great. I like how I was way in an open area, but since the object I picked up wasn't. It just crashed into the wall. It didn't look like I hit him with the verse hit, but maybe he just didn't react to it.
problem is you don't know what direction the object's gonna come to you from most of the time because it just kind of pulls something from anywhere. Like if I do it right here. Like there's no way of knowing really where something's gonna come from. What? Okay. Glad you guys exist now. Please kill me and let me waste 10 more of my currency. Notice that some objects highlight, but a lot of the time you can't see something is highlighted and it just kind of pulls something from off screen. Like right there, for instance. Or like right there. So a lot like there I can see that's highlighted, but a lot of the time you're not actually whatever you're picking up isn't something that's on screen and that at that moment. Which means you don't know where it's gonna be coming from. Cool, this is the guy again. I was trying to like not get hit by that. Like everything's so red right now. And when I start dying again in a second, I'm gonna turn even more red. All the freaking debris everywhere. It's so hard to see in this game. Rocket, cool. Silent ass rocket followed by another silent ass rocket. I didn't even like by the time you hear the whoosh it's too late anyways, and I didn't even hear it that time. There's like in any other game, if there's someone like shooting rockets you're it's very clear who it is and where they are usually but in this one they just like they're literally ninjas they're like rocket ninjas i would call them like, you don't even know there's someone who, who can fire a rocket until you're already getting hit by a rocket from off screen and then in that case apparently there was two of them at least Just spawning now. The game's literally just punishing me for being bad. Wow, you're having a lot of trouble with that part. Why don't we make it worse for you? The good lord. You found the audio cue quite recognizable and reactable. I go back and play it again like I did last time. I guess I'll do it. Because I literally heard nothing that, like not even the too late whoosh. Like I just heard nothing at all. So there's gunshots. Uh, all the freaking debris everywhere. It's so hard to see in this game. Right about here. Okay. Silent ass rocket. Yeah. Cool. So it's hard to tell if the whooshing when I got hit the right first time here. was the whooshing from a their weapon or if it was the whooshing from me picking up something. Very hard to tell if it was one or the other. 
The second one was literally completely silent. Like, just a rocket came from out of nowhere and hit me as if... It's like an NES game with limited sound channels or something, and like, another sound was taking up the space for that sound. Okay. Silent ass rocket, cool. Yeah. Okay. Silent ass rocket. Yeah. Cool. No sound for that. Is for that sound. Second one. Whatsoever. Like listen to it multiple times to make sure what the volume turned up real high. Okay. Anyways, let's try to not die again. The wish sound that it made when I'm grabbing the thing? The rocket may have also made that sound, but like, if that's the case, it's like so such a similar noise. I have no idea what hit me right there. I don't know where it was coming from. I don't know what kind of weapon it was that did it, and I didn't hear anything when it, when it before I got hit. I mean, I was hearing general gunfire, but it didn't sound like any of the general gunfires would had hit me right there. So I have no idea. It doesn't help that the screen was so obscured. Oh yeah, I do have that shield. I forgot about. That probably would be good for when I need to go get health. I If the boss got behind me, I have no idea how, because I thought he was in front of me. I'm just losing all my resources at this point. It doesn't matter anyways. Maybe the game got confused and thought that I'd... Well, if he's gone through this way this many times, he must have beat this already. As everyone else has. Better make sure to put those enemies. Okay. I'm sorry, but those rockets are just completely silent to me. By the time I see them, they're right in front of me and I just get hit. Yeah, okay, thanks. Just instant throw things faster than I can even throw things. 
And while it's also completely silent, that's fun. Take off all my health. It looked like he picked up... How do I go the wrong way every time? Uh, it looked like he picked up... Um, one thing at a time. He picked up a rock, hit me with it, and he picked up another rock and hit me with it. But I was like right in front of him, so... I was already screwed, pretty much. If I had enough reactive time to use my shield, I might have survived. But I didn't. Yeah, I was just trying to get to the help from the soldier I had just killed. Like that second thing he hit me with that killed me, I'm pretty sure I saw him rip the chunk out of the pillar like right in front of me. I was thinking if I try to focus on these guys first, that might help. Seemed to be working okay at first, but as soon as he hits me with anything, I'm like already in danger. does have a few things, you're right. So he does seem to do that at times. I mean, it might be if, like, I wasn't having so much time to, to decide for him what I was- Okay, I like how I was in the middle of moving- Thanks! I'm sorry, that's so annoying. I'm literally, literally in the middle of moving and like, like quickly running and jumping and I get hit still. And then I'm like, okay, I need help now because one of those hits from the thing drops me from full health to danger. And then he just smacks me with another one immediately. Time to like even process what's going on. What I was gonna say is that if I wasn't having so much trouble like with the visuals being so hard to see anything maybe maybe i would have a little easier time with the sound cues but it's like every it's like hard to see and hard to hear say it's hard to hear as if it's too quiet it's more that it's hard to decipher the sounds and pick up what the sounds like well sometimes it's just like silent though but the hard to see is yeah that's hard to see because it goes from like it's red and then suddenly there's like smoke of more red coming out and then I'm dying so it's even blurrier red. It gets really ridiculous. Like even like the first Okay. Like at this point it's just like And 
and then all the debris flying everywhere. Like it's just, it gets so, so hard for me. It's, Because I don't know where any. Oh, I don't know where any of the enemies really are. But even like the first level of redness, I think, is already like, handicapping me. And then it just gets worse and worse as things go on. Okay, cool. He got out of the way. Something like this. He is, I can see. Okay, now he, he has three objects I can see. Okay, I think all the minions are dead, so now I might be able to just do this because now I can focus on what he's doing. I don't have to worry about any other things that I want. Yeah, the I just did all like the visual effects, like the dust and the debris and even like the flash from me shooting like it's just so much like over stimulation visually i don't know if it's like over stimulation i don't know if that's the right word okay i thought i was safe right there yeah there's health over here but please get to the health See, I thought I was dying still, because the red red, but it's like I'm just in a place where there's red red. It's not the dying red red, it's just the environmental red red. It's just like a lot of little things. Because I was noticing that before, I, I couldn't tell when I was out of death mode immediately. Maybe I should have been using the sniper on this guy. Maybe it's actually really strong against him. It does a lot of damage. Oh, God. Please. Come on. It's not enough. There's more down there, but... Please, please. Please get out of the way. Okay, where is he? I see. Builds out of the way, and then I. And then the white health bar, when that pops up, builds up. A lot of health down there. I better grab it when I get the chance. Bye! down oh he throws it he loses it okay but that time he didn't have it and then he was able to throw still so i don't even know like the consistency of anything It's out in the open. 
Oh, this is just stressful even without all the enemies. Oh my god. That thing was sound. Oh, he's dead. Okay, thank god. This team didn't stand a chance against the hiss. No one here does. Have I tried? Sorry, let me read what you've been saying. Um, if you see him throwing or getting hit by a thrown object, assume two more projectiles are coming. Have you tried turning off the film grain effect? I didn't even realize there was a film grain. I don't, I don't see any film grain. Maybe my TV is a high enough resolution to process it because I, I look really closely. Not perceptible for my sitting position. I thought when games had a film grain type of deal, it was just somehow that would help the game run better because it doesn't have to be as high resolution because there's like a bit of a grain graininess. That's what I always assumed that that was for. Okay, TV. Another object. Like uh, Dark Siders Three for the Switch has like a much more noticeable again. grain effect. TV babysitter. Hey, we, we could just straight up fly now. <laughs> I think we just made our dash obsolete. I guess not, because we could still do that, but... Oh, in fact, that cancels the levitation. Uh, in a way, yes, it does make it obsolete. Yeah, as soon as we... Oh, we could catch ourselves, though, but we can't... We can't, like, go back up. Oh, jeez, I didn't mean to do that. That's fine. to slow fall <laughs> you press X and then you press X to slow fall but then you press X again to slow slow fall Yeah, it's levitate, and then you press X again to fall, and then you press X the third time to slow fall, which is, I've just, I've never played a game where that type of thing worked like that. I mean, I was just, yeah, I was accidentally referring to the first fall as a slow fall. That's all that, that was. Flash APB. The his static attempts to reach us or broadcast must survive. Okay, dealt with the TV. Now I can find Dylan. Now I can find. <sighs> Interesting that that doesn't take up any energy. It's just its own thing. Well, 
the so slow fall would be good for reaching hard to reach platforms when you're like trying to jump over a gap, I would, I would imagine. I'm dying already? Why? Like what hit me? I didn't even see anything hit me. And I can't, it's not letting me throw anything right now. Okay. Something just glitched there. I was pressing R1 over and over again and it wasn't releasing or grabbing anything. That was very strange. I can't hit these guys with anything apparently. They can't break their shield, which means I can't really do damage. Did they just leave suddenly? Okay, they left. Even though I didn't even get anywhere close to killing them. Good. That was weird. Hey. Root for Dylan in the maximum. Oh, because now I could just go up now. Oh, wait. Yeah, I can. Up to you. upstairs I feel like instead of pressing it once to fall and then again to slowly drop, it should just be if you hold it to begin with, you should just start slowly descending. I think I think that's way more natural than having to quickly press it twice. I think that's what's so weird about that. I feel like pretty much any other game would have just done it that way. Although, also, when it naturally runs out, it automatically goes to the slowdown version. highest level but I think I keep hitting the bottom of 
the platform above me. Unless it's just for some reason not letting me... Go that high. Yeah, it just doesn't let you go that high. It's like there's like an invisible ceiling. Okay, so that's what that is. Alright, so I guess we just look around here then. There's a goose. It's a swan boat. One of those paddle boats that you, you take a, a first date on or something. All the movies. That is a get well soon balloon. And then a second one that's been popped. Not entirely though, it looks like it's only partially deflated. It looks like there's still some air. It's not completely flat. It's a very important though. Water cooler. There's like no way that this wasn't heavily SCP inspired. Crowbar. It's just too on the nose. It's not like there's never been another thing that's had similar things, but it's like, it just feels so much like the documents and stuff. It's like if the SCPs were like wholly object focused or mostly object focused. A lot of them are, but there's also like living like organic creature or people SCPs as well. Um I can't go that way. Can I not? The light is green. Usually the green light means it's good to go. That other door sure Emily? takes a while to open and close. He's gone. It? Dylan isn't here. He might be nearby. Or maybe the hiss got to him. I don't know. Jesse, listen. Dylan's here. With us. He just walked in. He says he is giving himself up. He's been affected by the hiss, but, but he is different than the others. We must isolate him. I'm on my way. Why is he biting his bottom lip? I don't like that. I have to see my brother. That is not the, the facial reaction I would expect in that moment. Hey, that's me. Surprised she didn't oh, react to I it. I took up too much of your time today, Dylan. Like I said, I want to talk about Jessie, your sister. What about her? I just want to get your what perspective. About her? What do you think of her? What kind of person is she? That sort of thing. How would I you know your sister? When I was little, I mean. Yeah, I was gonna say. It. And you don't anymore? They haven't even. <sighs> when I first got here, sure. Seen each other in like I'd 20 years, right? You. Find me to take me home. We went everywhere together. Why should this be any different? Casper said she could come too to the bureau if she wanted to. But she what do you think about your sister that we're that keeping is? you from seeing, <laughs> and you haven't seen her in a hundred years? That's such a rude question. Seeing the world, she always said so because she got what she wanted. 
Great. So she wanted to see the world. Did she ever mention any place in particular? Why? We like to ask questions around here. You know that. Any Look particular cities, towns, landmarks, anything like that? I don't remember. What about family friends? Were you close with anyone living outside of Ordinary? I'm done with this. Tell Casper I want pizza for lunch today. Dude, he's such Dylan a brat. End of session. Here's one of the best spinning, an spinning animations in video games. Look at that. You can't. You can't deny. Basically, like a freaking fighting game. Move with the Dude, Dylan sounds like a brat. I'm gonna be honest. It's almost like he hasn't aged a day mentally. Alright, I can. Wait, I gotta go all the way to the executive boardroom? Okay, let me just look around a little bit. He's aged at least a week mentally. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. Isn't that like a save? Like in fast travel? This would be the best travel point place. Or at least we got to see Dylan. Because, yeah, I think this is definitely going to be the last stream of this. It's not like I don't enjoy the game. But it is kind of tricky for me in a lot of aspects that are probably only going to get worse as the game goes on. It would be bad to have a control point near Dylan. But he's supposed to be the director, how's he supposed to learn? Then when I would, whenever I kept dying, I would have been right there. It's like right outside the room. Wherever that happens, right here. Politely levitating up the stairs, yeah. Talk to this guy. See if he's... Hey, what can I do? Oh, you're back. Oh, thank you, thank you. If, if I look away. I don't know what this thing will do. You have to get me out of here. The door can only be opened by the Panopticon supervisor. That's Langston, if he's still around. Langston. He might be. Yeah, I know him. I'll go ask him how to get you out. I walked over it. Please hurry. My eyes. They can't. They can't. Hey, calm down. Just focus. What's your name? Focus. Right. My, my, my name's Philip, and I think I can hold on for a bit. It's just my eyes. My eyes hurt so much. Just hang on, You can't even blink? That's rough. That's the ultimate staring contest. Oh, yeah, this was one that was really hard. 
to see because of the hallway, I guess. I thought they glowed or something, too. I'm just gonna go. Clearly need it. Um, executive. It's when you're far away or haven't unlocked them. They should glow all the time. Just for fun, you know? Speak with Emily, Big M, as they call her. The resonance emitted from the HRAs is purely. No, it's happening. After all these years, Dylan is here. Oh, but am I too late? How is he? I need to know. He's clearly been affected by the hiss, but it's different than any other manifestation we've recorded. Uh oh. Maybe what makes you so special is genetic. He was a prime candidate. Or maybe it's Polaris protecting him, something else affecting the situation. I need to run tests. He seems more in control, more present. I want to see him. My brother. Or is he? Of course. Now, Marshall set up an HRA warded cage to contain him. It's on the upper floor, up the stairs. Okay, I need to go. There's Jesse, a Polaris hum. Be careful. I probably can't hear the Polaris hum because the PS4 is humming and it's blocking it out. Oh my gosh, there's files all over this table. I never noticed. Unless they've just been appearing. Initial impressions. Confidential. Analysis of hit his threat part one. Initial encounters with an entity known as Hiss have been revealed. Various behavioral facts. The Hiss is able to invade or corrupt control points, altered items, or even humans, radically changing their behavior. Any person wearing one of the wearable HRA devices Dr. Arlen has distributed over the past weeks is not affected by the corruption. I like how it's just curiously, yet he specifically designed it for that. So that's like, hmm, curiously, the bulletproof vests we're wearing are stopping the bullets that we're getting shot with. I hope so. The only known exception in this fact is the new director, Jesse Faden possesses an inherent immunity to the hiss. This could indicate that she's already been corrupted, but her behavior is so in contrast to that of the other hiss that I've dismissed that theory. My final observation comes from Ms. Faden herself. She's able to cleanse material and organisms of the hiss corruption. We tested this ability on hiss corrupted entity. Fortunately, the process seems to kill the host. Perhaps the host's physiology becomes reliant on the hiss. More work to be done. Okay, file blank. He's just been writing these as I've been progressing, huh? Oh, I got to part three. I knew that was going to happen. We understand that his to be forced based on vibration and resonance, perhaps their incantation, which is now agreed upon a uh, term for the vocalizations. Effort to express resonance using human vocal cords and speech. The most common word used is want. Interestingly, every usage of the word is attributed to a you. You want to listen. You want to be true. You must want these waves to drive you away. Are you the you the hiss is referring to? Well, it's funny because Jesse's also referring to you constantly. Maybe she is the hiss queen. Second most used word is through in time. Is this possibly the hiss stating how they arrived here or an indication of its age? There's a clear intention in the words dismissing the incantation as nonsense as some of my colleagues recommend as being on idiotic. Only Trench Darling and maybe one or two other people knew about it. I thought there was a video clip of him talking about how important the things are and everyone should be wearing them. Like I could have sworn that was one of the videos. I 
he like it. Researchers were sent to just transcribe the recursive chant repeated by the Hiss and done with a non-aggressive floating Hiss. So this is just a lead up into the third one that actually goes into more detail about the cantation. Examine this invasion's timeline of events, possible patterns in his behavior. Establish the timeline is difficult at the present because of lack of reliable communication between borough sectors and staff. How did the his capacity to turn a lockdown? How did the his resonance advance through space deliberately or uniformly? What is their ultimate goal? The outside world across dimensional. It was a video clip, but the nature of the video clip is something you didn't quite have the clues to understand at the moment. You didn't just find out in the world it was shown in a cutscene. Oh, okay. See, I, I didn't remember where I had found it. Okay, so speak with Dylan on the upper level. Oh, speak with Dylan. Oh, I didn't. I completely missed the fact that he was just like they had him. I thought he was still on the loose. Been... Dr. Arlene has personally recommended Miss Pope promotion based on her work ethic and assistance in advancing. Pope is displaying KI for detail and quick grasp of apparent natural concepts. Oh, oh, she's our gal. If she can't do it, she's still our pal. Say where he is. Whoa! This room is covered in sticky notes. All right, but still. This gives me like Stanley Parable vibes. I don't know if I like taking orders from a mall cop. Promotion to the title of research pope. Math. Oh no, not the sin cause tan. Anything with that. The mirror sticky note complaint. Oh, this will be good. To whom it may concern, in case you're not aware, something caused a sticky note in my office to duplicate. My office is unusable now. I'll be working from home until this is resolved. You can reach me on my cell or home phone. Certainly Jay Bozer, Vice Chief of Staff. I don't see a problem with this. Now there's a sticky note. Any any time you need a sticky note, there 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 it is. Seems like beneficial to me. I feel like it's me. Oh, is this not the upper level? How much more upper can you get? Technological restriction. Old's house imposes certain limitations. There's not a lot of devices that receive or emit any signal. Radio waves are the only transmittable signals, so walkie talkies. Modern technology tends to disappear and break here, sometimes quite violently. Agents have been injured to cell phones exploding into their pockets. Remember when those cell phones were exploding? What was that, like 10 years ago? There was like a whole exploding cell phone trend going on. Everyone was trying to get in on it. Hmm, this is my favorite song. I like listening to it with my dentures. Oh, I just need to find the right room. How many... Oh, 
Oh, there he is. Happiness comes. He looks okay to me. Through time, the thunders hold He's only floating a little bit. Happiness comes. White pearls with yellow and red in the eye. Through one year, he's near right. <laughs> that, exp that, that her expression she just did was hilarious. She did like a little smile as he's like possessed and floating and chanting. And then it turned into like this weird grimace. That was great. That was like deadly premonition level. You are a worm through time. That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Oh, come on, Dylan. I'm here. I found you. Why don't you say that out loud? Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You know me? You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. Very specific. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Well, the captions say you're Dylan. Push your fingers through the surface and into the uh -oh. wet. You've always been the new you. You want this to be true. Can you stop that? Please. <sighs> Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in! You've always been here! The only truth! A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop it! Orange peel! Shit! Shit. Orange peel? He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small. In ordinary. In the desert through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. <laughs> and she didn't help when they locked me up for years. Yeah, this is a fun cutscene. Though you till nothing remains, the air cracks and the truth will march out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it. And they found... Vacation pictures. They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There. There it is. We stopped the Altered World event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. I am your worm is a tune you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, baby, baby. Just plastic. So safe. Nothing to worry about. <sighs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in. To get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. And what are you? You're literally dangling you in the air on strings, buddy. You forget. If we shut this off the slide world. projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the prime candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. 
I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. Mm. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this light projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a worm through time. The thought you are a worm through time. The thunders will distort you. Oh, we got clearance level six? How did that happen? Dylan had it within him the whole time. Okay. Why is she looking at us? We we don't know where and can. Um. Wait, how is this part of containment all the way down the bottom of the map, and then this part of containment's all the way up here? These two, those are so far away from each other. But which one? Which one is it at, I wonder? Oh, you know what? It's that question mark with the yellow diamond, isn't it? So it's actually the bottom one, I, th I think. Hope so. I'll probably wrap up pretty soon. if we get anything i'm guessing i'm about halfway through the game because i think well i haven't been progressing very quickly but i think i remember i thought the game was like about 20 hours maybe or something Oh, actually, how long to beat says 11 and a half hours main story, but plus sides it's up to 19 hours. Uh, but I've been going at a pretty slow pace probably. Like two thirds through. I guess it, it, that probably lines up. trying to do like a document covered up type of thing. Anakin Supp. The item was last one by Madame Blank, an operatic performer from Berlin. Uh, after her career ended in a public scandal, she relocated to Blank, Maine, for reasons unknown. With her came the trappings of her old life, including this item. Locals report she rarely left her home in short years. She's been Blank after death caused by Blank Blank. State held a public auction of her belongings, seeing as she had no known relatives. Uh, various conflicting first-hand reports exist, but testimonies provided the witness of the event do contain some common elements. Most every witness called numerous mannequins break through the house's windows, tumbling outside. Some witnesses report bright lights, some report high-pitched singing. 
These are unverified numerous civilians inside the house at the time of the incident were hospitalized for various injuries. Two were crushed to death. Agents were dispatched upon seeing an article regarding these events during the Bureau's daily scans of national periodicals. The item was quickly identified and brought to the Bureau. Uh, all right, fact. I mean, I'm. I, I mean, I'm pretty much done, anyways. So I appreciate. It. And yeah, I mean, it's it's fine. I, I'm not gonna love every game, and it's not like anyone made me play this. I was the one who decided to try this out. Um, and I don't I don't think it's a bad game or anything. It's just kind of tricky for me in some ways. I think it's it's interesting. Uh, but. Yeah, you have a good one. You can't, you can't do that, fuck. Thank, thank you, but you didn't, you didn't need to do that. Hey, 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 but for five dollars, goodness gracious, that was not necessary. Thank you. Oh boy. Oh, hang on, I have a shield. I just remembered. I actually remembered. I can't believe you've done this. Such lewd language in my Discord. In my Discord, in my YouTube. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going crazy. I saw that rocket go underneath me, but I didn't realize it was going to explode at that moment. Oh no. Exist. Please exist. Please exist. that one. I just didn't know where it was coming from. Goodness gracious. Hopefully this means I'm going the right way. Oh, I didn't realize. Let's 
gonna lead back around. Well, let's see. Oh, any time. No, I'm just I'm lost. Maybe this is a sign I should just wrap up. Okay, I just I just fought these guys in this room, didn't I? So they they res like more enemies filled in because I I left and came back. I don't realize I have no idea where I'm going. The game is giving me too much credit. Okay, I'm just gonna wrap up. I'm lost. I thought maybe it was going the right way and I left and came back. Um, yeah, that'll just be it. Then, thanks everyone for joining. If anyone watching this right now. And have a good night. And th thanks again, Fak. You didn't have to do that donation, but I appreciate it. And uh, good night. <laughs>